Hello everyone, it's Mrs Hine Taylor, ready to read chapter 6 of Baby Aliens Got My Teacher. In the last chapter, the gang met in their secret hiding place to formulate a theory about what was happening to Miss Jones, because Miss Jones was absent. Anyway, so we're on chapter 6. The chapter is called Baby Alien in the Ear. We'd never had a secret meeting at Jodie's house before, as we usually had them in the den. I didn't know what to bring, so I just brought a bag of crisps, four biscuits from the cupboard, my good pens and Dad's torch. I am loving these alien illustrations, by the way. They're so cute. Jodie lives just a few houses down from us, so me and Zach walked over. When we got there, Maisie Miller was waiting outside Jodie's flat with her mum. Maisie was wearing a long padded coat and gloves and earmuffs, even though it wasn't that cold and Zach only had a t-shirt on. Maisie's mum gave Maisie a big hug and then she said, Look after my little angel. I couldn't bear it if anything were to happen to her. So we said we would. Then, when we got up to Jodie's flat, Maisie had to wave out of the window to say that she was safe before her mum got back in the car. I had to help Maisie take, off her, take her coat off because she couldn't really move. And then when I got it off, I saw she had another coat on underneath, which I thought was weird. But Maisie is a bit weird, so I didn't say anything. Jodie's mum made us do the tour, even though me and Zach have been to Jodie's like a million times before. But Maisie hadn't, so we all had to do the tour again. I'll take it that I've been shown around the house. Maisie looked a bit confused. I don't think she's ever seen a house like Jodie's before. Jodie's mum watches those extreme home makeover programmes where people say things like, I think my house is boring. Can you make it more like a jungle? And then they do. I like watching that programme too because sometimes the people who change the house get it all wrong and when the owners open their eyes they get a shock and get really angry. Jodie's house looks like a princess's palace. Everything is pink and gold and sparkly. Jodie and her mum share a bedroom because Jodie's mum says they are more like sisters than mother and daughter. They've even got bunk beds, which is brilliant. I asked mum if I could have bunk beds too, but she said no. So I told her about how Jodie had bunk beds and how she shared them with her mum and mum said that if I really wanted bunk beds I'd have to share a room with her so I said I didn't want bunk beds anymore because I like having my own room all to myself and also because mum snores. <coughs> Snora. Jodie and her mum have another bedroom that used to be a beauty parlour where Jodie's mum painted the neighbour's nails and waxed the hairy lady's moustaches but now it's a recording studio so she can practice her singing. Oh recording studio singing after the tour we gave Maisie's coats to Jodie's mum and went into the bedroom loving pictures Jodie had already made a stay out secret meeting sign before we got there so we put it up then we pulled all the covers off the beds and sat in a circle on the floor and Jodie said are you ready and we said yes and then Jodie said that the secret meeting had officially begun I said that I do the writing because I'm good at lists and organising. And then Jodie said, I think I know what's wrong with Miss Jones. And we all went really quiet. And then she said, I think Miss Jones is an alien. She's got a baby alien in the ear, just like the film Zack told us about. And I thought she was probably right because that would explain why Miss Jones was acting nice all of a sudden. We couldn't believe it. Our teacher was an alien. And then Zack said, I bet she's planning an alien invasion. That's why the head teacher's ears are burning. She put a baby alien in to turn him into an alien. Now she wants to turn us all into aliens too. And then Maisie had to lie down for a bit. Oh, that's the end of that chapter. So stay tuned for the next chapter next time. Take care.